What's up everybody, Beastly Gamer here, and I got some news for you guys out there like me who may have bought a PlayStation Vita before June 1st, 2012. Sony has been ordered by the Federal Trade Commission to issue refunds to consumers who bought the PlayStation Vita before that date because they had misleading ads in the newspaper and on television that were pretty deceptive. This article is on TheVerge.com. There will be a link in the description for you guys to check out, and I will also give you information on how you can get your refund. Sony has agreed to a settlement with the Federal Trade Commission after being charged with making misleading claims about the capabilities of the PlayStation Vita. Those claims which Sony described as game-changing features and ads around the time of the Vita's launch pertain primarily to how the handheld would be able to interact with the PlayStation 3. Sony claimed, for example, that the PlayStation Vita could pause any PS3 game at any time and continue to play the game on, on the Vita from where they left off, the FTC explains. This feature, however, was only available for a few PlayStation 3 games and the pause and save capability described in the ads varied significantly, significantly from game to game. Similarly, the FTC says that Sony greatly exaggerated the remote play feature of the Vita which is only supported by a scant few PS3 games and falsely claimed that Vita owners would be able to play multiplayer games live over a 3G connection. The commission also took issue with Dutch LA, the advertising company that handled the launch campaign, saying that employees were instructed to promote the Vita on Twitter without disclosing their involvement with Sony. As we enter the year's biggest shopping period, Companies need to be reminded that if they make product promises to consumers as Sony did with the game-changing features of its PlayStation Vita, they must deliver on those pledges, Jessica Roth, director of the FTC's Bureau of Con Consumer Protection, said in a statement. As part of the statement, Sony has been barred from making more of these claims in the future, while consumers who bought a Vita prior to June 1, 2012 are eligible for either a $25 cash refund or $50 worth of credit towards select games and services. Sony is expected to email those owners impacted by this statement. The FTC will not hesitate to act on behalf of consumers when companies or advertisers make false product claims, explained Rich. The proposed order against Sony requires it to send email notifications to all consumers it can reasonably identify as having bought a PS Vita before June 1, 2012. So I don't know exactly how they plan on doing this, how they plan on finding out who bought a Vita before 2012. They've been ordered to uh, email people who got it uh, previous to that date. Maybe they're going to find out through our email address or whenever we activated the PlayStation Vitas to the PlayStation Network. I'm definitely eligible. My wife's eligible. We both got the, the early edition. We got them a week before everybody else. And uh, I didn't even think about it until now, but I got the 3G version. My wife has the 3, 3G version, and we never were able to use that. I didn't like AT&T. I'm not with AT&T, but I don't know anyone who's ever used that to play games with. I don't even think that infrastructure really exists. I, I think it was all a lie. And, uh, you know, going back to some of the features that were promised here, it is, it's bogus. Especially now when we think about what the Vita does, what it's known for. They're just a handful of these games that you can stop playing on PS3 and go to the Vita. I can't even think of one. You know, the cross-buy feature, the cross-save feature doesn't even work. It only works with specific games, and that's what they campaigned this Vita on. So, I gotta say that's one for the team, one for the one for the consumers, one for people like you and me. And Sony, they need to be reprimanded for this kind of action. This is unacceptable for a company as big as Sony to be making promises that they can't keep. You know, the Vita is a pretty powerful piece of hardware. They should have campaigned and sold it as what it was instead of trying to make it into something that it wasn't. I totally agree with the FTC here, 100%, that consumers are owed some type of compensation because the product that we bought was not what was specified to us. And personally, I think that $50 worth of product might go down pretty good. That's another year of PlayStation Plus. Hey, why not? Or you can get the 25 uh, it says here that Sony is going to contact us, the PlayStation Vita owners, uh, to find out exactly, I guess, who they think got a Vita before June 1st, 2012. And hopefully they get in touch with the majority of the people who actually bought it. You guys let me know what you think about this news in the comment section below. Sony issuing out big bucks, 25 to 50 bucks per consumer for all 12 people who bought a PlayStation Vita. Hope you guys enjoyed this Smash Brothers gameplay. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.